हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द सेकंड सर्किट अंडर एमिटर बायस एम्पलीफायर व्हिच इज टू सप्लाई एमिटर बायस व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज टीएसईबी कॉन्फिगरेशन दिस डायग्राम शोस टू सप्लाई एमिटर बायस कॉन्फिगरेशन हियर along with vcc the emitter terminal will also be biased with negative voltage as shown in this figure that's why it is known as two supply emitter bias first let us understand the dc analysis of this circuit the current that is flowing through the emitter terminal can be given as the voltage across the emitter terminal that can be taken as vee minus vbe divided by re so we can write the current ie is equal to vee minus vbe divided by re so here across emitter terminal the negative of the power supply is connected that's why it is mentioned as minus 2v so it is negative terminal of 2 volts supply so here while writing in the formula you need to take the positive value of that voltage itself you need not write minus 2 volts so if we substitute the values we will get 2 minus vbe is constant value which is 0.7 volts divided by re is 1 kilo ohm so if we solve this we will get ie is equal to 1.3 milliampere since we know ic is approximately equal to ie so we can write ic is equal to 1.3 milliampere in two supply emitter bias configuration the base voltage will be very small that's why we can take the vb value as zero so we can write voltage vb will be approximately equal to zero also the voltage vc can be written as vcc minus icrc if we substitute the values here vcc is 10 volts minus ic is 1.3 milli amperes and rc is 3.6 kilo ohm therefore we can say vc is equal to 5.32 volts here the voltage across emitter terminal ve can be written as vb minus vbe so we can write ve is equal to vb minus vbe so if we substitute the values vb is equal to 0 and vbe is 0.7 volt from this we can write ve is equal to minus 0.7 Seven volt. This is about DC analysis of two supply emitter bias configuration. Now let us understand the AC analysis. To perform the AC analysis, we are connecting the capacitors across the input side as well as a capacitor parallel to the emitter resistor. The capacitors that are connected at the input and output side are known as coupling capacitor, and the capacitor. parallel to emitter resistor is bypass capacitor the coupling capacitor will allow only the ac signal inside the device and also outside the device this coupling capacitor also blocks the dc signal so that it can maintain the biasing condition of the amplifier circuit here we are using an input signal which is an ac source this ac source voltage is a small sinusoidal voltage with dc level equal to 0 volt here since base voltage is equal to 0 volt this input signal will superimpose on base dc voltage that will be equal to 0 volt as shown here the collector voltage is amplified and inverted as shown in this figure it is superimposed on the dc voltage 5.32 volts since the voltage across the collector is calculated as 5.32 volts so this output voltage across the collector will be superimposed on 5.32 volts 
the load voltage or output voltage is same as the collector voltage except it has zero DC level and also the voltage on the emitter is pure DC due to the effect of bypass capacitor as we have discussed in our previous topic this bypass capacitor will pass all the AC signal towards ground which is available at the emitter terminal and only the DC signals will be available so the DC voltage across the emitter terminal is minus 0.7 volts as we have calculated in the DC analysis this is about DC and AC analysis of two supply emitter bias configuration hope you have understood the topic thank you